This demonstration will guide you through downloading and activating your tax cycle license. If you have not registered for a trial or made a purchase, start by visiting the tax cycle website. In the top right corner, click on Try Now and complete the required information. And once you fill that information in, you would like to click on download now. It will take you to this page where it will say you that you have successfully registered for a trial and you can follow the steps or instructions to download your trial version. If you are a new trial user, you will receive an account activation email and you can open that email and click verify now to set your password. If you are ready to purchase, you would like to click on buy now and select the module or suite that best fits your needs and then you will be directed to download page. Once downloaded, open the setup.exe file to install tax cycle. Since tax cycle and doc cycle are separate programs, download and install each individually if you plan to use both. However, only need to activate one uh, as your license information is shared across both programs. If you are using tax folder, you will want to sign in as well as manually enter the license code. Here, I have already installed tax cycle. When you first launch tax cycle or doc cycle, you will be prompted to activate your license. For that, you have two options here. You can sign in with your tax cycle account. Another is that you can manually activate your account uh, or your license by entering the email address and license code here. First is signing in. This is the easiest way to download your license. So let's click on sign in button and then enter your email address and then your password right in here. Uh, this is the same email and password you used for your trial or purchase. Just in case you forget your password, don't worry, you can simply click on forgot your password hyperlink here to request a reset. For now, we remember our password so we can click on sign in now. Now we are signed in uh, into our tax cycle account to download our license information we can simply click on download right here or if you want to manually activate your license you would like to come in here and want to enter your email address and then your license code now you want to ensure the email address matches the one you use to generate your license. And once you fill that in, you would like to click on OK. This is the start screen. Once you have activated your account, you will be able to see all the modules that are available to you right in here. You have the ability to select what modules you want to see. So you can see all the modules. You can choose to see the modules that you have purchased or if you want to see the ones that, that are in preview or the modules also available as trial. So you can select accordingly. Here we have T1 module. Depending on the module you have selected here, you will be able to find various actions related to, mo to that module uh, just below that. You can create a new return, you can open a return or carry forward a return in many more. Actions for the current year you can find on the left hand side and actions for the previous years you can find on the right hand side. You can look into and work through the previous years as well. So. I would like to mention here that your current license grants access to all previous years. So if you have purchased 2024, then you will be able to access all the years back to 2012. And similarly for all other modules that you purchase. Now, if you are renewing your license or adding a new one, you would like to navigate to help from the left hand side. And then if you are signed in, uh, then you would simply want to come in here and click on refresh license to update. If not signed in, then you would like to click on sign button or you want to click here and enter your email address manually and license code. 
uh, that is also available at the bottom of your invoice or in your tax cycle account and once you do that you would simply want to click on activate and it will update that that license for you for multi-user licenses you will need to install and activate the software on each computer and if you want to look into the license status you can do that on right on this help screen you will see a list of installed products with your most recent license at the top and older license below if you had any now your license agreement is tied to you personally so sharing your license code with others violates the agreement all right so now we have successfully activated tax cycle account so it is that simple to get started with tax cycle